Transformer fans, this is 37 Rust Dog back again with another Transformers review. And this time, this is over the Transformers R.I.D. 2015 Warrior Class Scorponok. Yeah, I did see the uh, Paladon uh, figure that r looks exactly like him. But, for those that got him, yeah, he's okay looking, but if you're a big Scorponok fan like quite a few uh, Transformer fans are, then this guy's the one to pick up. Now I found this guy over at Walmart. And he, there was only two of them left, so I went ahead and snagged him before he before he was gone. And he's pretty much grown on me. He does have some cool paint though, because it looks like that uh, glitter paint. Or the metallic glitter paint is what I call it. Of course the eyes are cool looking. You have uh, he has four eyes. No pun intended, bad joke. Then, of course, he has a spot for the sword. You can take it out like this and make him look more like a scorpion. But, I mean, he's cool looking. I mean, with a figure like this, you can actually come up with, all you, I mean, as far as like the Paladon, you could probably um, create like a whole Beast Wars style uh, type of uh, figure line. If you're working on a stop motion, that can kind of correlate but anyway this guy's transformation is very unique and I'm glad I watched all the other uh, other reviewers uh, transformations of this guy I mean his transformation is the same thing as the Paladon and what you're gonna do is there's this little la flap right here you're gonna pull that down like this and it's going to and you're gonna have to open it right here and take all that out same thing here. Take all that out. And you're left with a big mess, pretty much. I mean, as far as like the transformation goes, it's real unique. Then you're just going to close it up, like so. And you're just going to let it pretty much dangle. Now you're going to go to the back. I'm going to tilt this up a little bit. Fold those backwards. And bring this all the way up. Then it's out of the way. And everything else is pretty much flat. His shoulders are pretty much flopping around because these will actually become his shoulders. Then you take his legs, bring them out like that. Pop them out. Rotate them down. And then turn them that way. Bring out the legs. Now, I find this kind of humorous in a, to a point. Because I have seen some that will leave him like, well, wait till I get this uh, head out of here right quick. Bring that out. It's going to shift upward like that. But then before you do all that, you got to bring this down, bring the head in, turn his other head, and there you go. Now, you're going to... Where these pegs are, you're going to connect them right here, just like that. And bring that flap over. Same thing here. Bring it all the way in. Lock that in place. Fold that down. And voila. Now, I have seen people do this. Chicken legging. That's what I call it, the chicken leg. That would work. However, it makes him a whole crap, whole shitload of skinny. I mean, he's skinny at the bottom and top heavy at the top. I mean, mine, luckily I got him where he's, pretty, well, actually, he's pretty much flimsy now. But yeah, for him being top heavy like this, eh, no. So what I like to do is fold this over, bring the legs back, pretty much like, um, uh, the um, movie uh, Starscream. Keep his legs pretty much like this. Like displaying him like this. But kind of arch him over a little bit. There. Now he's more menacing. Yeah, I just disregard all the other crap in the back. That's part of my uh, stop motion set that I was working on. Haven't done any yet because I'm trying to come up with a new storyline with new characters. And there's the sword. Now, you can if you want, and I had another weapon over here, but I freaking lost it. 
Ah, uh, shit. Well, anyway, you can actually put a weapon on him. Hold on, I'm gonna just grab something right quick and I'll be right back. Now, since he... Ah, oh, shit, it broke. Okay, since he's that color, I did find an extra weapon that I could probably use with him. That would probably go together, but that one sucks right here. But that one would kind of blend in. So we're going to go with this weapon. So we're just going to pop it right in his hand, like so. And voila. Scorponok. And of course, I'm going to use this weapon for Grimlock. There we go. So, as we can see, there's Scorponok in his robot mode. Now, to transform him back into Scorpion mode, we are going to do this. Take the weapon off. And we're going to take this off. Unloosen that. Unloosen this. Take the arms. Bring them up here like this. Now, I always do this just to get everything out of the way. Because it becomes a big CF. And then turn this up. Turn the head around. And then we just pop that into place. You heard that pop? Uh, move that down, bring that in, like so. Fold the legs, fold the legs, boom, done. It's pretty much fold, 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 over, and you're done with the figure. Rotate, slide, peg. Rotate, slide, and peg on these legs. Boom. Done, just like that. Bring the legs over. Now for the really fun part. The easy part. See how it just slid over like this? You can leave his arms down, clamp them in, bring that up. Same thing here. Do that, wash, do that, do that, boom, done. And we got Scorponite. Now, if you want to do something cool, if this will work, you can have him as a, with his tail as a laser. Now, here's something I was kind of toying with. Trying to convert him into a jet. Yeah, I know. Dumb idea. But it'd be cool looking. Because what I can do is do this. Bring that down. Or bring it all the way up under like this. Then you have to rotate the arms like so. Well... Yeah, bring his arms around like this. So you can make him into a triple changer. Well, technically you can. However, he just doesn't want to. It's been a douchebag. Ah. <sighs> Hasbro could really give us a challenging, a challenge on this. Then you just take the head and just pop it like that. Then you have the makeshift Scorponite jet. I just toyed with this just for the shits and giggles. Or if you want to do something really cool, make him into like a little bitty city mode. I just toyed with this too. And of course, watch his claws all sh come all come apart. But you can do something like this. Well, technically, you can get him into like a city mode type of custom. Well, regardless, we ain't gonna do any city mode, city uh, fan modes because. That just takes away the coolness of this character of Scorponite. But as far as like um, Sentinel Prime, yeah, that's a different because he does he can actually 
make himself into more like a city. But other than that, here's Scorponok in his alternative mode. And you can see how shiny the paint job is. And I like it. Even though it kind of gives different contrast. But he'd actually be kind of cool looking. All I'd do is get another one of them. Get a different head. And make a quick strike out of them. And then other than that. And of course you can do this. Flip this up or down, doesn't really matter. But other than that, here is Scorponok in his alternate alternate vehicle mode, and this is 37 Rusted Dog signing off.